I've always been a little bit against the current. In fact, a lot of people would say I've been a, a lot against the current. I've never conformed to the norm. I didn't want to be put in, into the, the sort of cabinet of a typical rich kid who, who grew up and became an ambassador for something that he didn't even believe in. Music's amazing because your typical story, or success story of a musician is guys come from nothing. I've had no training in music at all, but my desire is to, to break the norm, I guess. There was a certain time in my life where I needed music. The story behind it is I actually got a bad injury we were playing sport, so I was, I was bed bound for about three months and uh, couldn't do much but strum a guitar. So I used a mate's guitar and I just found that there was, there was just this certain um, phenomena about molding together certain notes into a melody and a harmony that no one had ever taught me that. It, it was an expression, it was a language. You, you take, it takes a lot of time to learn it, you fight with it, you struggle with it, your emotions are built in it. You sit in a room by yourself for hours, maybe like three or four years that I've spent just trying to just evoke emotions with a guitar, with a with effects. That's where the loop pedal came into play, is, you know, like there's nothing better than getting a groove and then getting it down and going, oh, okay, that, that melody actually speaks. That's, that's like a language right there. Avantir has been our home for 32 years and um, I believe there's a massive blessing on this place and just the fact that to me there's no beautiful, more beautiful place. It's just because it means so much to me and what it, what it represents. It's, you know, it's not just a, another farm. It's, it's a place where like special people work and live and we make you know, really good wine and it's, it's more like of a paradise than a work environment. Being a director of Chill, obviously being one of the founding people of the company, has, has obviously been a huge learning curve. I've just been very privileged to have partners like Grant. The environment we've tried to keep is very casual. It's, yeah, I mean, being a director is not a glamorous thing. It's not. I mean, with, there's a huge responsibility aspect of it. Absolutely, by far, the most important lesson I've learned is my ability to read people, understanding their intentions, um, but walking the journey with them, you know. The recording process is an extended amount of time to relay three minutes or four minutes of production. And that can involve multiple instruments, multiple arrangements, multiple production, multiple programming. You've got this commercial thing in the back of your mind saying, how can I hook, how can I get people to listen? stage as a solo performer you, you're only backing against yourself. The loop pedal throws m multiple dynamics into the whole mix. When you try and replicate sounds just using one tool, you've got to focus on the sound that you're creating, that, that your timber's not too hard or too soft. You've got to focus on the, on the effects of the pedal. You've also got to be concentrating on the lyrics and you've got to be concentrating on the melody. There's an element of engaging with the audience, but I think that kind of fades away where you like, if they like me, they like me, if they don't, you know, I can, I can go to sleep at night waking up knowing that I'm giving it everything I've got. If you give me a couple gold chains, I'll, I'll prove to you that I'm a real hustler. <laughs> Hold on, I, I need to not laugh. I definitely do not have groupies that hang outside my house, I promise you that. It's just, it's just, it's diving, we're diving. We're diving. <laughs> that definitely is not going on. It's definitely not going on. My name is Blair Tabra and I'm a hustler in the concrete jungle.